Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel. In this tutorial, let's learn how to edit audio file in Filmora 9.3, latest version of Filmora Video Editor. This video is designed for beginners who are new to Filmora. Let's getting started. Here I have an example clip of me talking in front of the camera. I will use this clip to show you how to change the volume of the clip, how to change your voice pitch as well as how to add audio keyframe too. Let's listen to a short portion of the clip. Okay, welcome back to my uh, channel. So as you can see on the timeline, this is the audio waveform of the video. You can adjust the audio level directly from here by holding your left mouse click and drag this white line up and down to increase and slow down the volume of the video. To have more control of the audio, you'll need to get into film or audio editing window. The first way is to right click on top of the audio track, select adjust audio from the pop up menu. This is the audio editing window where you can adjust the volume. Add audio fade in, fade out effect. Change your audio pitch. Turn on and off background noise removal. Add audio keyframe and work with the audio equalizer. There are two other ways you can pull out this audio editor in Filmora 9. Once the video track is selected, you can click this editing icon to pull out the audio editor in Filmora. Being noticed that there are four main tabs which is video, audio, color and motion when you click this icon. You need to switch to the audio tab to adjust the audio like I've just mentioned. If you look at the top right corner of the timeline, you will find this audio mixer, which can be used to control the audio of your project too. When editing video, this audio mixer is where you must look at when you want to control all the audio tracks on your timeline such as the audio of the your video track, music track and other sound effect tracks. In this audio mixer, you're able to change your audio type, control the audio output of each track on the timeline. For example, you can define the audio output to be played on the left or right ear for your video track number 1, by just sliding this icon to the direction you want. This trick is the same with all other video and audio tracks on the timeline. As you can see how the audio output direction change at the track column when I play around with this slider. This slider is the master volume control of your project. Ok, let's go back to the audio editing window of Filmora now. Firstly, increase and reduce the volume of the video track by moving the slider. When move the slider up, or down, the waveform of the audio also changes accordingly. Let's play the video with this audio level. Okay, welcome back to my uh, channel. So now reduce to a very low level. Okay, welcome back to my uh, channel. So the, the battery is in uh, the light is perfect. As you can hear now, the volume is very low compared to its original audio. Let's look at audio fade in and fade out effect in Filmora 9 now. In the audio editing window, there is an audio fade in, and fade out slider. Once you move the slider, the duration of the fade effect will also change accordingly like what you see on the timeline. There is a little white dot showing the duration of the effect. You can move this dot left or right to shorten, or extend the duration of the fade effect too. In Filmora 9, adding audio fade in, and fade out effect is super easy, and handy. Let's take a look at other features in this audio editor. Firstly, changing the pitch of the audio to lower, or higher level can change your voice when you play it back. It depends on you if you want such kind of audio effect in your video project. Okay. Welcome back to my uh, channel, so um, the battery is in uh, of the light just so You can reset your audio to its original pitch by typing 0 at this box. This drop down menu shows you more audio effect that you can apply to your project too. To have more control of the tone, you can click this customize button and adjust the frequency of audio manually. As I am not an audio expert. I can only show you the tool to use in the software. Let's go ahead and look at Filmora background noise removal tool. In order to activate this feature, you need to check this box, then select the level of noise you want to remove. 
This feature comes in handy when you record your video outside with terrible background noise of the environment. Being noticed that when removing background noise with the software, your voice will also be affected too. So, the ideal solution to get good audio in your video is to record video in a quiet place with a special micro. Okay, welcome back to my uh, channel. So, the battery of the light. Let's learn how to add audio keyframe in Film or in I now. Audio keyframe is useful when you want to control the volume of the video or music track in your project. To add an audio keyframe, firstly select the track you want to add, then open your audio editing window. Click this little white diamond spot at the volume slider. An audio keyframe is added to the audio track on the timeline. To add more audio keyframe on the same track, move the position marker to the position you want and click add keyframe again. To increase or reduce the volume of the audio at that keyframe position, you can move your mouse cursor to keyframe position and drag it up and down easily. Being noticed that you can move the position of these keyframe along the track to where you want to. Let's move down these keyframe a little bit more so that you can see how the audio changes. Alright, that's all I want to share with you in this tutorial. I hope you've learned something here. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. Thanks very much for watching and I will see you in my next videos. Bye for now.